Hey guys, how's everybody on this Saturday afternoon? I got two things for you today. One's my first build of 2019, and the second one, yeah, we're going to leave that for a surprise till the end. So, hope everybody had a good New Year. Hope you had a very Merry Christmas. And I hope your New Year is off to a fantastic start. I know mine is. I'm pretty excited. So, let me, uh, let me do the usual. Spin this camera around here. We'll go on uh, Dirk's Wiggly Wobbly mode. And I'll be right back and we'll show you that first build of the year. Hang on. Alrighty, we are back. And the first build of 2019 is one of the theme, theme models that I'm going to be doing this year. Uh, we started off with the, the Sherman tank and the uh, M4A1. So let's show you how it came out. So there it is. Now I, the only thing that's not done yet is I still got to dirty up the uh, the tank yet. Um, you know, like around in this area, you know, right back in here, and on the sides, up around in here. I you know I I still got to weather that a bit, get some mud and dirt and grime and everything up there. So, but these little Ming tanks are pretty cool. Uh, they do say that they're a snap together, which for the big main pieces, that is true. But for all the little pieces that you're seeing on here, all the little detail, like the, um, like the shovel here, these little grab rails on the side here, up on the turret, the area going over the lights and the lights themselves, all the little tiny stuff. Um, yeah, that's you're gonna have to glue those in. So have your uh, have your Tamiya thin ready when you start building this, because you're you're definitely gonna need it. But I'm real pleased with the way the decals came out. Um, I, I this is the best decal job that I've done so I'm real pleased with that you know I've always struggled with decals <laughs> so but anyways um, the base is just made uh, it's a, just a wooden base that I picked up at Michael's I've got a bunch of these little plaques uh, I picked them up when they were on clearance at one time last year. I think they were like a buck a piece, something like that, 50 cents a piece. I don't know. They were cheap. And then uh, I actually made some mud with dirt out of my front yard. And what I wasn't real keen on is how dark it turned out. Um, if it's showing up in the video, I... Uh, this right here is just pretty much the plain mud and it you can see it's almost black and this is how it started off I mean it's kind of it uh, like a grayish black but more gray than black but I mixed it with some Elmer's glue to make mud and boy it just went black so I just kind of highlighted it with some brown to kind of lighten it up a little bit and then to give the illusion of the weight of the tank kind of pushing the pushing the water out you know from the ground uh, um, this is just um, you know, come on Dan think the golly the floor wax <laughs> future thank you 
Um, but that's just future. That's many, many coats of future put over it. Um, cause it just, came, you know, the future just kept absorbing down into it, but it, it finally started to build up. And then I, I got the appearance of kind of like wet mud. So anyways, that's my, uh, that's my first build of the year. So now hang on. Now the second thing I wanted to show you, we got to go on a little, little hike for her. So hang on and I'll be right back. Alrighty, we are back again. And yeah, it's echoing in here. Um, but we have started on the train table. We got the bench work all done for it. All built up. So we are getting serious about our trains now. This has really got me excited because I've been wanting to start this for quite some time now and finally got around to it. So I haven't really decided yet if I'm going to do a uh, separate channel for the train videos or if I'm just going to leave them all on, you know, just to have the one, this one channel. If I decide to keep it just the one channel, uh, what I will do is I'll title the, the videos so that you can tell whether it's going to be a modeling video or if it's going to be a railroad video. So and then that way if you don't want to don't want to watch the modeling but you do want to watch the trains that's that you know that's fine or if you don't want to watch the trains and you do want to watch the models that's fine too. So well I'll figure that out here coming up, but at least we got it, finally got it started. We got the bench work done. The only thing I have left to do on this is to actually uh, screw down the, the plywood going around and I've got the styrofoam out in the garage already to put my base down and then we'll start laying some track and figuring out a, a I've got somewhat of a track plan in mind and I, I'm 98% sure that it's going to work but now that I actually have the table built and to the size and everything that I that I wanted then we'll uh, we'll make sure that it's it's going to work so that'll be the first thing we do after I get the styrofoam on it is actually lay out the track and make sure that everything's going to work. So anyways, I'm just rambling now. So that's it for today's update. And I hope you all have a great rest of your weekend. Have a good week at work. Good week at work. Have a good work week. Well, yeah, okay. I give up. My tongue's not working today. So We'll see y'all on the next video, guys. Bye.